Pariah is a multitasking drama. Black, urban, and lesbian coming of age? Double word score! The film's opening is phenomenal and it immediately takes you out of your comfort zone. But Pariah is never graphic. So hats off to Dee Reese's feature-length directorial debut, which is based off her short of the same name. Also, real quick, Dee Reese is such a director name, especially for Sundance. Quentin Tarantino, Morgan Spurlock, Dee Reese, it just fits. But then we've got someone like Mr. Generic Name, Kevin Smith. You've got to be thankful for work speaking for itself. Also, it'd be pretty bitchin' if Reese directed a 3D remake of E.T. Because then you'd have 3D Reese's E.T. Just get that 3D and product placement right in the title. Sh such a dumb joke. Now, I'm neither black nor a lesbian, in case you couldn't tell. So I can't directly relate to the main character Lee's story, but I'd say performances are fair game. Maybe it's just me, but with dramas I tend to favor the supporting characters. I find them more interesting. It could be because I know that the main character is always bound for breakdown, and for that very reason I was more impressed with Lee's parents, Orkbina and Laura, whose relationship sculpt Lee's collapse and rebirth. And want to know something crazy? Ashley Davis, who plays Bina, is in her late 30s. She's supposed to be a high schooler. It makes me feel a little less creepy about having a crush on her. Cougar time. Pariah is an emotionally charged, brilliantly cast, complex, dramatic piece that may be a tad overhyped here at Sundance, but is still worthy of note. I give Pariah 32 white journalists praising this film out of 40, because, you know, we totally understand. So those are my thoughts on Pariah. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, or check out any of my previous Sundance reviews, like Terry, Mad Bastards, or Vampire. As for me, I'm going to try to touch the bottom of that flag. White boys can't jump. White, white boys can't jump. White boys can't jump.